Hello guys, this is Rajan Kuswaha and welcome to Java Full Stack Development Program. In this uh, session, uh, we will learn what is the access modifier. So the today topic is access modifier. What is the access modifier and what is the need of the access modifier for a class, for a data member, for a variable. So all the things we will learn in this session. Okay, so let's begin. So in access modifier, you can see here the there are four types of access modifier. The first one is public, second one is private, and the third one is default, or we can say that uh, package also. In JDK 1.8, the default uh, access modifier converted as uh, package modifier. Okay, and then last one is private. So, uh, what is the basic need of access modifier? Basically, uh, access modifier provides the accessibility of a class of a data member of a method. So this is very uh, important thing about the Java program. Then uh, we are securing every step. We we provide the uh, uh, security. We provide the protection at every level. So uh, uh, this helps to protect our data. Okay. So in public access modifier, the data member can be used by any other code. It means uh, if the class or the, uh, the data member are public, so every uh, every class or uh, every uh, method can use that data member. Okay. So this is the facility of the uh, public access modifier. The data member can be accessed by another uh, code or another class can be accessed okay and the next uh, point is private in private access modifier uh, private basically provides or the member can be accessed by other member of its class okay the private member can access by other member of its class it means the same uh, class uh, data member can access the private data only so here you can see that only within the class only within the class the data member or uh, the data variable can be accessed uh, not accessed by other package or same package of other class not accessed by subclass and not accessed by globally. Globally means means can access by another package. Okay, suppose I have a class A and uh, the class A is associated with the package B1 and uh, I have another package B2 and this package B2 wants to uh, access the package uh, B1. Okay, so in uh, private that can't be possible okay so uh, another package b2 cannot access directly okay so this is the feature of private access modifier for example uh, one second for example i'm going to see uh, for example you can see here i have created a class okay private access that is private access and in this class you will see uh, how the data member is private so uh, here you can see i have created a private access class and uh, the display method is private okay so here the display method is private and i have also created a class b and uh, here in the main method i have uh, created a, a, a object using the private access so when we call when we call the display method the the, the compiler will um, show the error compiler will show the error and here you can see that change visibility of display okay so we cannot access we cannot access by other class okay but in the same class if uh, here I, I will define the object this this method can be used inside this block inside this block this method can be used by another object 
but um, by using this uh, an another class by class b we cannot uh, access the display object okay whenever uh, whatever be the conditions if uh, here i am creating the uh, the uh, access private access object but it can be accessed by another class so this is the difference okay so here you can see uh, the private uh, data member can only access by the same class okay and the next one is default package what is the default or package so in this condition no keyword required if there is no keyword uh, mentioned in the class then then that package or that class will associate with default uh, access modifier okay so in default access modifier the data member can be accessed by the same class or the same package only okay we cannot access by sub class or another class and we cannot access by another package so in default condition we can access only the same class class level or same package level and here you can see that when you uh, when no access modifier is used uh, then by default the data member of a class is public within its own package so within its own package the data member will treated as public okay and but can't access by outside of its package so we cannot access uh, outside uh, package any class of uh, the package uh, any class that associate with another package okay or associate with the uh, uh, same uh, yeah same package we can uh, access okay so uh, for uh, default uh, access you can see here this is uh, i have created a package p1 and uh, here you can see the default access okay the class is default access and in uh, another package uh, i have uh, also created a new uh, class that is default access new and here i have imported the uh, package of p1 it means uh, this uh, this uh, pack uh, this class class can uh, import all the class of this package okay so here uh, i have created an object i am i'm and here i am going to access the display method of p1 package class so here in p1 package i have defined a uh, display package and here uh, i have not mentioned any uh, access modifier okay so this will treat it as a default access modifier so when i will access this method the compiler will show the display method is defined for the type of default access so this method is not accessed by another package so this method can only uh, this method uh, can be used uh, by its package or by its class only okay so this is the difference between uh, the class level and the package level okay then the last one is protected so protected basically protected move access modifier can only apply when we are implementing the inheritance property so when i am implement implementing inheritance property that uh, that situation in that situation the protected access modifier can be used for example i have created a, a package p1 and here you can see the protected access class here i have created the protected white display method this is the display method that is protected and in another package you can see here i have another class uh, uh, created and another class and uh, import here the p1 dot protected access i have imported the class of another package that is p1 and here uh, in the main method in the main method i have created an object and i 
uh, I want to access the display method by using the extend keyword and here the class uh, protected access new extends the protected access so when I will run here there is no error is showing and uh, when I will run this class this will give the proper output because because uh, this uh, in this situation the protected uh, uh, access modifier can be uh, run uh, or can be used by the another uh, protect uh, another class okay so here you can see the proper uh, output of uh, this this uh, display method which is protected so in this protected uh, uh, modifier we can use by using inheritance property in this uh, property and or if this method can be used by implementing inheritance property okay so uh, basically protected access modifier made for only uh, inheritance property okay for inheritance property and here you can see uh, protected can be used the same class label or same package label or uh, or package level yeah yeah we can use the package label for one package to another package it can be work or uh, it will work okay and subclass it means uh, child and parent class level uh, here uh, I had uh, shown already what is the uh, actual uh, functionality between the inheritance property okay so uh, for this session uh, I, I hope you all guys uh, uh, like this video and please subscribe so uh, this is the whole uh, concept of access modifier okay uh, we will interact with the next session so for this session thank you all and, uh, thank you